Rivers. And over the second Costa Rican ever to go abroad, she moved to Lyon. And she won 92 caps and scored 29 goals. She captained Costa Rica to their first ever World Cup finals in Canada in 2015. And she has the honour of bringing the FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup trophy and waving to an adoring crowd. Women's football very much on the rise here in Costa Rica. Even though their team didn't perform at its best, the game is growing globally. is certainly no exception. Now the official party will come out from the presentation of ceremony. And it's appropriate that we've had a full house here this evening to witness what has been a a truly joyful, let alone successful tournament in Costa Rica. I don't think there's a single player or coach that is not going away with happy memories. Even the teams that were knocked out in the group stages, the likes of New Zealand and Australia and Canada and Korea, every one of them contributed, every one of them scored at least one goal. Gianni Infantino, the FIFA president, leaves the presentation party out. He is supported by the FIFA Council representative, Joanna Wood, and the president of the Costa Rica FA, Rodolfo Villalobos, from the FIFA Council, Sonia Fulford, the uh, MA president of Spain, Luis Rubiales, from the FIFA Council, Isha Johansson, the MA president of Japan, Kojo Tashima, the FIFA Secretary General Fatma Samora and the women's senior coach of Brazil, the very famous Pierre Sundhaga, all there to join in this celebration of women's football. And it truly has been a celebration over the past three weeks. It's a wonderful action. goals scored in the tournament by the 16 competing nations and here are the uh, Brazilian team who took bronze earlier in the evening. He knows what it's well, the fair play award I told you went to Japan uh, yet again and it is accepted on the country's behalf by the skipper Nagai Buki from Nagano Prefecture. The FIFA Fair Play Award goes once again to Japan. The fifth time awards. Yeah. And it's another Japanese who steps forward now. The winner of the bronze boot is Yamamoto Yuzuki. She wore the number nine shirt, 20 years of age, the player of the match against both Brazil and Ghana, came up with goals against Netherlands and France and Brazil, and another hugely popular and a very, very, very good player. that they're only going to receive silver medals this evening but this is an acknowledgement of the contribution that the Japanese have made to this tournament because the highly likeable Hamano Maika gets the Adidas silver boot on the back of her four goal contribution she was the player of the match against the Netherlands in the opening victory and just got better and better as the tournament went on to win the Adidas silver boot and we'll be seeing plenty more of her
great shaft and the winner of the Golden Boot is a, a member of the winning team and that is the case again here in 2022 with eight goals for the champion Spain in the Gabano takes the Golden Boot the Adidas Golden Boot she overtook Patricia Guijara who won the Golden Shoe and the Golden Boot four years ago and Gabarro's eight goals win her the Adidas Golden Boots of 2022. She'd be the first to say it was a team win. They were the three players who scored the most goals in the final competition. And they were they were dancing away the night, I'm sure. We've seen the standard of goalkeeping improve immensely here in this tournament in 2022. And there is an Adidas Golden Glove Award as well to the outstanding goalkeeper. And a Spain of conceivably two. Gundaga will hand this over. The Adidas Golden Globe to the Spanish goalkeeper, Chel Font from Barcelona. She only came into the team because of injury to Adrián and Nanclaris against Australia. Since then, she's returned in place and is an outstanding winner of the three players who, in the opinion of the judges, have been the outstanding players over the entire tournament. Spanish is still having a dance in the background, by the way. The hugely popular Tassiani of Brazil, who scored twice this evening, three times in the tournament, top scorer in the qualifiers, maybe a defender, she's also their top attacker. The Adidas bronze ball goes to Tassiani of Brazil. The tallest player in the competition. She'll be even higher when she holds that trophy aloft. And the Adidas silver ball goes to the top goal scorer, Emma Caparo of Spain. So she won the Adidas golden boot. She has the Adidas silver ball to go with it into her trophy cabinet. And she hasn't got one. She needs one now. In Magabaro's eight goals win her the Adidas silver ball as well as the Adidas golden boot. And the final individual award goes to another of the Japanese. Come on, America. Look at that. Look at that. The Brazilians acknowledge. What a good player on a losing side tonight for the winner of the Golden Ball, the best player over the last three weeks in the FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup in Costa Rica, Hamano Mayika. stop dancing because they've got to go across the stage to get their golden medals. Before that there will be several other medals to be presented. Luani by the way, the dance leader, I've noticed that. Emeka Calderas of Venezuela along with Mary Blanco from Colombia and Kim Yu Chong from Korea Republic as well as the PAR leader, Diana Moniz dos Santos from Brazil, step borders as Gianni Infantino drapes their commemorative medals around their necks. The first time that we've had an all-female list of officials at a Women's Under-20 World Cup. And the VAR assistants all claiming their medals as well as reward for a job well done over the past weeks. So many decisions to be made during the course of a football match these days. And they've been charged with that responsibility and have carried out their duties. The 
Brazilian team are all lined up. There's uh, one more photograph to be taken with the paper president. Very happy bunch. Well, the uh, Brazilian captain. They were so thrilled to end up with the bronze medals earlier today when they defeated Netherlands by four goals to one. And they performed bravely. It's the second time that Brazil has managed to finish third in this event. Back in 2006, they defeated the United States of America on penalties 6-5 after a scoreless game. But here, they didn't need penalties, and they overcame the Netherlands by four goals to one and gets a bronze for the second time in that country's history. And the flag flies proudly. The brilliant Yaya gets her bronze medal. And there she is. One of the outstanding players of the uh, tournament. I wouldn't have dared do that. <laughs> it's catching on. I dare you. No. Much more well behaved. Well done, Brazil, to take the bronze. And right at the back of the line will be the outstanding Tassiani. Four goal top scorer in the qualifiers, three goal scorer here in the finals in Costa Rica. Well, Rafa Levis, the last in line, and then the affable coach of the Brazilian team. What a job Jonas Urias has done at the age of 33. He suffered just one defeat in the qualifiers and here in the finals as well. And they're so, so happy. Obrigado. Pia Sundaga. Genuine affection. Brazil take third place in Costa Rica 2022. We know the silver goes to Japan. It was gold last time. They have to settle for silver this, but no disgrace in that. What a fight of it they made in the second half against the Spanish here who form a A guard of honour. That's what it is. It's a guard of honour. A recognition of how good the opposition was. And here comes maybe the most popular player of all, Hamano Maika. Uh, a very popular coach as well. What a terrific job Futoshi Ikeda has done for the seniors and here with the under 20s as well. And they have silver medals to cherish from their time in Costa Rica 2022. Uh, the goalkeeper, excellent today, Obashu. Excellent in every game, actually. And they step up one by one to receive their rewards. They will acknowledge that they were second best on this occasion, but they'll come again. I'm able to match DPR careers, tally it for the team for a photograph. Well played to the coach as well. Tories four years ago. And, uh, they're not losers, they're just winners of silver. But now this is the moment, uh, any moment now. They can't wait. But they're so proud, Japan. Well done to them. They follow up a gold with a silver in consecutive appearances. to acknowledge Pedro Lopez and his magnificent Spanish team of 2022. Magnifico. Reading smiles and why not? Job well done by the coach. The 43-year-old Pedro 
and on all players who took over in 2016. He told his team to enjoy the tournament to the fullest, and they have certainly done that. He also comes them to sixth place in Brentview, New Guinea in 2016, so it's been a great progression over six years to the victory podium. And what a tournament she's had, Salma Paraluelo with three goals in total. Two tonight, Julie Bartel. And how they deserve their moment on the podium and in the spotlight here in this memorable year for Spanish football. The women's game is on the march in that country just as it is all over the world. And we begin to appreciate, I think, just how good these women footballers are at whatever level. Senior, under 20, under 17. Japan have won a lot, by the way. And now Spain have got their foot in the door as well. The substitute goalkeeper there, Yana Sin, who never got any playing time. What a captain, Anna Tihada has been just 20 years of age, and what a future she has. She'll end up in the media, she's so eloquent, and what good football she is as well. I think she'll be in Australia and New Zealand next year at the Senior Women's World Cup. Deserves every bit of credit that she gets. And then uh, again from Pia Sundhaga, congratulations. Well, this is the moment we acknowledge the new champions Gianni Infantino has the World Cup in his hands. At any moment now, Spain will have the World Cup in their hands. The new champions of the world. 2022 will go down in history in Spanish women's football. Pedro Lopez and his squad of 21. More than triumphant. Elated. Joyful, wonderful scenes for La Rajita. This is the moment every team savers. This is the one that they cherish for the remainder of their playing lives. They may do it only once. And what a time and what a place to do it in Costa Rica. We salute you, Spain.